The FNAF movie sequel has gotten tons of new updates over the past week from filming news, plot reveals, and more, along with a bunch of other stuff with new details about Secret of the Mimic, big update on the FNAF Dead by Daylight collab, even the FNAF movie 3 being confirmed, and more. So first, starting with Into the Pit, you may remember the game released on August 7th, and despite being seemingly advertised to be releasing on consoles on launch, they weren't quite ready yet for launch and claimed it would release at the end of the August month. Now, fast forward forward to the end of September, the devs finally ended up releasing the game onto consoles, which is good even if it's a little late. That is, unless you're a Switch player, as they had what they called a fatal error during release that caused it to still not be ready, and they aimed to have it fixed by the end of the week, which has also already passed, so I guess we'll have to wait for future updates on that. Moving on to some Secret of the Mimic updates, if you don't remember, the developers ran a Secret of the Mimic demo at PAX West, which was completely restricted, no filming was allowed. But but more recently, the Fantastic Games event happened, which was also supposed to show off something related to this mysterious game in a demo and a 20-minute presentation. And come this event a couple weeks ago, again, unfortunately, they ended up for this event forcing everybody to turn all their cameras off and no filming or any documentation of the presentation was allowed, which is honestly extremely disappointing again for most fans because I just don't like the idea of the next FNAF game being paywalled behind these events that you often have to travel hours and spend hundreds of dollars to be a part of on the semi bright side though they did reveal some videos and photos of what the demo space looked like and in an overview article recapping the event they gave us a super small description for the demo saying last but not least we have another in the screamingly devilish lore packed five nights at freddy series this preview was kept a bit under wraps showing off the mimic i'm a bit behind on my story knowledge of five nights these days but i know that he's a kind of no skeleton baddie whatever that is meant to mean who has taken on a few different forms the game will unravel some of the mysteries behind this fan favorite villain but what that means will need to be revealed elsewhere so nothing much to be honest but i'll take what i can get at this point we also just got a pretty big update on the fnaf dead by daylight collab announced back during the anniversary as recently in an interview with the head of partnerships at dbd they basically confirmed that the upcoming collaboration was going to be a chapter release meaning instead of being a small cosmetic update or something which they do sometimes with less meaningful smaller collabs this new fnaf update will introduce new characters and actual fnaf related content into the game outside of just small cosmetics and this is obviously super good news because people had theorized for a while that this was going to be a cosmetic update and not a chapter but of course now it's confirmed and they were wrong so i can't wait to see what we end up seeing from this collab in the future because i think it's something people people have wanted for forever now moving on to the FNAF movie sequel news there has been an absolute ton as recently a bunch of the actors that were involved in the first film have been doing a bunch of promo and interviews revealing to us quite a bit about the second title for starters Blumhouse launched a sweepstakes promotional video for the upcoming movie where users can actually enter for a chance to see the sequels premiere when it ends up releasing and while for the most part the promo video doesn't really reveal much midway through it they actually give us our first look at the fnaf movie 2 logo showing basically the same logo from the first film but this time it's blue and has a 2 next to it now i wouldn't take this as completely final because it's possible this was just made as a temporary logo for the sweepstakes since it's literally just a different coloration of the first one but it's possible this could be our first look at a real piece of fnaf 2 media even if it's super small but the actors in the film have also been super active around the press and have been revealing even more things about the sequel for instance josh Hutcherson, the actor for Mike, did an interview with Esquire in anticipation for the filming, which happens in just a few weeks at the end of October, where he was asked about the sequel, saying, In about three weeks, Hutcherson will be in New Orleans to film Five Nights at Freddy's 2, which is set to release in 2025. He's stepping back into the shoes of Mike, the security guard who discovers that the abandoned pizzeria setting of his new job isn't quite as abandoned as it seems. The shoot is a long one, stretching from the end of October to the end of January, and everything is more amped up than it was the first time around it's much bigger the stakes are higher he says there's more animatronics being brought in different animatronics being brought in and the world just opens up in a big way we're finding the balance right now of building this world and expanding it in a really cool way but also making sure the characters stay really grounded that's something that i really think we all fought for in the first film because this world that was created in five nights at freddy's it's so out there it's so over the top and wacky in a way that to find the emotional 
actual truth of the characters was going to be what was going to work i think fans are going to flip for it it's going to be a lot of fun with the source it's going to be a scarier too actually so we obviously confirms here that there are going to be more animatronics and that the general production of the film is going to be a lot larger but he also tells us it is going to be scarier and that there's going to be more focus on horror which is something i think i speak for all fanaf fans when saying this is wonderful news we've heard rumors in the past that this film was going to be focused more on being scary and this interview finally confirms that we also got an interview with the actor for william afton matthew lillard who was interviewed on forbes and was asked a couple questions as well the five nights at freddy's sequel which is due to start filming at the end of october will see matthew lillard reprise his role as the main antagonist william afton it became blumhouse productions highest grossing film worldwide so what can he say about the sequel slated to land in theaters on friday december 5th 2025 to which matthew lillard responded not much to be honest i will say that i think the filmmakers have done a great job of learning from the first movie of what fans want and i think they're giving a lot more of that lillard reveals it's going to have a lot of character development stuff it's hard to kiss around it i think the story ends and this movie ends in a really exciting way one thing the hackers actor confirmed was that like the first film the sequel would be pg-13 rather than a harder r rating so we firstly hear him already talking about how he loves the way the movie and its story ends and his attitude like mike seems to suggest that there is going to be a lot of character and story focus in this film instead of just trying to be a generic horror film with jump scares and screams something you could tell they were really trying to do with the first movie not focusing too much on the animatronics and rather the plot and story around them although i am hopeful and ambitious they'll do a better job this time around but they also confirmed to us the next film will be pg-13 something that i think everybody expected it might have even been reported on before i don't remember but yeah unfortunately no r rating however you can't really expect that when the first film was also pg-13 itself and to their credit they did stretch those lines a bit in the first film when they showed carl's destroyed head so they have plenty of opportunities to make it scary regardless matthew also did another interview with collider talking even more about the fnaf movie confirming in this interview that this morning i got a text with my dates so my dates are the beginning of november and another series of dates so we're going to work i'm really thrilled i think the script's fantastic i think we learned a lot in the first film i think the second film is going to sort of benefit from those things we're all excited about where the movie is at right now which for one shows that the creators are aware of the mixed reception of the first film and they are really genuinely wanting to improve on those negatives but lillard also confirmed that he himself was going to be filming at the beginning of november for his scenes which is super neat to think about and might be important to remember as filming comes and things start to leak so we can maybe make some guesses on where he might end up appearing now along with all this fnaf movie sequel news we've known for a long time that there were plans to make three fnaf movies in the main line one on the first game second game and third simple enough matthew lillard even signed a deal for three movies locking him down for the trilogy now this wasn't necessarily confirmation these were going to happen because had the movies failed they always could have just not made any more of them and that would have been it but super recently we have actually started to get reports that the fnaf movie 3 is already in early production now this is genuinely insane to think about because it means they are so confident in the second movie and its performance that they are already working on the third and finishing the trilogy which could be a tell on how confident they are in the quality of the second one and it seems like they are truly going all in and plan to get the third one out as soon as possible.